My name is Louise Ridland, and I am a Texas Master Naturalist. I'm a member of the Lost Pines chapter, which is in Bastrop and Caldwell counties. I'm standing in front of a bird blind in Bob Bryant Park in Bastrop, which was recently designed and built by the Bridge Maniacs, who are part of the Lost Pines Texas Master Naturalist. So what is a Texas Master Naturalist? Is it someone who's a builder, a birder, a hiker, a nature nerd, one who enjoys the outdoors, one who studies plants, bugs, rocks, archaeology, shares their observations? Maybe it's someone who teaches, who does water quality testing, wildlife or weather monitoring, leads interpretive hikes, does photography, or organizes education projects. Well, yes, it's all of the above. There is no set mold, and many master naturalists wear several hats, but they do have some things in common. They're keen observers. They notice things others overlook. They are curious to learn more. They've maintained that childlike sense of wonder. They're enthusiastic. They're eager to share what they've seen and learned. And their enthusiasm is contagious. They want to get more people involved. They are generous with their time and energy. They love to volunteer for projects, whether it's building structures, slogging through woods and waves, conducting surveys, researching, cataloging, teaching, promoting their understanding of the local ecosystem and how to conserve it. Texas Master Naturalists serve as an outreach arm of our sponsoring organizations, Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. Texas Master Naturalists desire to make their part of the world a better place for wildlife, plants, the environment, and their fellow humans, and hopefully inspire others to do the same. It's not an arrowhead, what is it? Spear Spear oh, this is why we love human behavior.